an Islamic country with a population of 11.7 million people. Tunisian Republic was freed from France in 1956 and is now led by President Kais Said. Poverty, unemployment and slow economic growth are the three things Tunisia has perpetually suffered from. The COVID-19 pandemic is not making things easier for them too. To cope with the rising of food prices or make up for job losses, households either drew on their savings or borrowed money from relatives. On the other hand, the citizens' health and well-being worsened with the COVID-19 situation. Tunisia's economy is declining and many vulnerable families are not able to provide their children basic needs, especially in the matters of education. Continuing its commitments to implement the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, leaving no one behind, Tunisia presents its second National Voluntary Report 2021 and reaffirms its determination to implement the SDGs. Out of the 17 SDGs provided by the United Nations, Three of them are implemented by Tunisia, which are SDG 1, No Poverty, SDG 3, Good Health and Well-Being, and SDG 4, Quality Education. By 2030, the Government of Tunisian Republic targets to achieve some improvements in its country. Regarding SDG 1, No Poverty, the general targets are to eradicate extreme poverty, reduce at least half of their citizens living in poverty, and implement a social protection system for all. In regards to SDG 3 and 4, good health and well-being as well as quality education, Tunisia aims to pay more attention to the health of the children under the age of 5 years old, provide medical supplies in response to COVID-19, strengthen the vaccination development system and lastly, give educational allowance to more than 100,000 vulnerable children. Some initiatives have been taken by different bodies to help Tunisia overcome its challenges. Through external help, the World Bank approved 300 million US dollars in financing for the COVID-19 Social Protection Emergency Response Project. This project will all together help Tunisian households deal with poverty, health and education needs. The World Bank has also allocated 35 million US dollars to Tunisia's Ministry of Health to provide essential equipment and medical supplies in response to COVID-19. Coronavirus leads the economy to slowly shutting down. The health and well-being of all families in Tunisia are declining. Children see no future in education because of the struggles. With the help from the World Bank, Tunisians can continue to live. Charity aid is important for us to show the world about issues in other countries, in other parts of the world. We have faith in the world's humanity.